Welcome to another video, YouTube. In this one, I'm actually gonna do some fishing. I'm a home like Kentucky Lake now. This is my home pond. My house is just right across the street over here. But I'm gonna do a little topwater fishing with a little special six cents bait, and it works. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, do me a favor though, like the content, smash the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel we're so close to 17,000 subs kind of fell off a little bit we're going back up and uh, make sure you follow me over on instagram my instagram has blown up in the past week i've gained almost 500 followers taking a lot of cool bait photos doing some ig tv doing some ig reels I'm having a lot of fun with it so i'm going to be doing a lot of content over there so make sure you follow me sit right there the bottom the screen yeah, that's my Instagram handle. So, anyways, do me a big favor on this video. Comment below your favorite topwater bait uh, for the fall. I'm going to tell you right now, the one I was throwing, is, it's one of my favorites. So, let's go ahead and jump in the boat and get at it after it. me, my buddy, Darius, and his big skeeter. Kentucky Lake, here with my buddy Darius. He invited me to come out for a couple hours this morning. We're gonna throw, I'm going to throw a little topwater, put a brand new splash back on. Spanish bone. We'll see if we can't catch a few fish. It's been a while since I've been out here. I'm probably going to get spanked by Darius. He fishes quite a bit. And that's okay. I'm excited to be out here. Be really excited to see some topwater action or some fish. She's rigged up ready. We got her Mountain Dew. I've been jacked up to go. Got him, good one. Oh, yeah. Good one. Boy, he exploded on that. It scared me. I think it's a brown one, because he is fighting. Holy cow. Whew. He ain't too bad, he's got it up on his forehead. It's a good brown fish. Boat flips only. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Woo. On the splashback, I mean, he come up and train wrecked it, dude. Oh, man. Dude. Yeah, I'll come up there. We'll get a picture. Dude, that, may, that makes my week. Makes my week, man. All right. Let's get this guy. Man, he is T-boned here. All right, got to get me a couple pics for the gram, and I'll release you. He was right where he needed to be. All right, we're going to release you for another day, Mr. Brown Show. Whew. Yeah. Man, that fish absolutely crushed that splashback. If that's all I catch all day, I'm good. Just one and one brown one. I wasn't really looking at my bait, and I just it sounded like a bowling ball went off on that thing. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Golly. Woo. Well, they are feeding here this morning. I can tell you that. That I figure with the weather change and it's possibly going to do a little rain in or sometime front, it could be pretty good this morning. Well, that's two more bites than I've gotten in the last month, so I feel good about it. Didn't even have to go to Lake X to catch a bass this morning. Oh, how did I now get hung up? That was a good cast. That's about the best one I'm going to make. Got him. <clears throat> he ain't real big, but I got him on that pause. I think we got a little large head here. 
Yeah, he liked the splash pack. Like oh yeah. This time of year? Yeah. These are the kind that send you to the ER. Oh, got the splash back again. Spanish bone. Give him another year or two. He's going to grow up. Kentucky Lake's still healthy. There's fish in here. You just got to work for them. All right, YouTube. I want to talk to you a little bit about my setup right here. I have got the wrong gear ratio reel. I've actually got a 6-3 to 1. As this great big bass jumps in front of me. I really like a 7 to 1, but I was lazy. So really, you need a 7 to 1, but these fish are eating it on the paws. 6 cents splashback 70, that's Spanish bone, I believe. And then I've got a 7 foot medium action rod, fast action. Allows me to do a lot of good things with this bait. Cast it pretty, pretty decent. I made some good cast. I can work it. Rod's light. Uh, I've had this rod for about... I don't know, seven, eight years now, and it's just a really good top order jerk bait, flat side crankbait rod. It's custom made and it's got a little wind grip on it. But rod brand doesn't matter. It's all about the length and action for top order fishing. All right, guys, I am, I'm going to get making me a little follow up bait. It's one of my favorites, Six Cents Clout. This one's Electric Shiner. It's going to have a little little flash as it falls, kind of look like one of these bait fish. I left my wacky ring tool, a pro tip on the clout, it's got that skinny side. So just slide your wacky ring on the skinny side. I'm going to bring her down right here. I'm going to take a little tungsten weight. This is a Rains Nell weight, 332nd. I'm slide it right up in there, push it in. Got me a little owner Nico hook. There we go. We'll keep that up on the front deck here. If I get another one, miss it. We'll toss this guy in there. See if we can't catch them. They're still blowing up out here. God, man, it's crazy. These people are saying there ain't no bait on Kentucky Lake. I don't know what they're talking about. It ain't just today, but the last couple of times I've been with DFE or whatnot in the evening, it's unreal. But if you notice, all this bait ain't out there, it's up on the bank, so bass really ain't got a reason to run the ledges. Another guy just come up and ate right there. You got that shower ball? Darius has got the shower ball, he's hunting the bigs. I want to know how we got lucky and didn't get no wind. Now it's going to get hot, but usually when I go, the wind decides to blow. Oh, that wasn't a carp. That was not a carp. All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit about my retrieve here. This is a very unique bait. Uh, it reacts to your rod really well. So I've basically been doing a one, two, three, a little bit of pause, one, two, three, a little pause, and maybe a one, two, three, four, and let it walk back two, three, four times, and a pause. And it seems that all my bites have come on a pause. That big small mouth, I was actually looking the other way, and... Uh, it was sitting dead still and it just crushed it. And that largemouth was on the paw. So anytime you're fishing top water, just like any other bait, you kind of got to figure out a cadence or retrieve those fish really like. So I'm basically throwing it up as close to the bank as I can. One, two, three. You get a pause going. One, two, three. Pause. And they seem to be liking that pretty well. Um, sometimes, you know, they like a constant movement. And that splashback's really good about walking back and forth. So get a little secondary action. It's throwing some water. It's not like a P70 where it's just big blurps or anything, but it's it's kind of finessey. And they seem to like it. I'll break this bait down here in just a little bit as well. I'm going to try to catch another fish. And Darius had one blow up on the shower bowl. A little bit more of a walking bait. Big fish bait, though. Ooh, 
dropped it in. Oh God, did you see that? I dropped it in and he ate it. It's a little large mouth. Holy cow, he ain't that big, but that was awesome. Talk about a perfect cast. There he is. There you go, Debo. There's your Debo Dink of the day. Of course, a six cent splash back and an amazing cast. There you go, guy. Get back in that brick ball. You bet that went like a five pounder. That'd, that'd been awesome. No, it is on the bluffs where it blocks it, but. I got a jig. I, I was over here during the high school. Uh, got him one. Oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one. On the splashback again. Yep. Quick release. Quick release. Ate it in that wind. Come up and got it good. We're going to release them anyway, so we'll count it. Yeah, little bait walks good. Oh yeah, there we go. Got him. Dinko. Oh, baby brown, I think. Look there. There's a baby smallmouth. Baby smallmouth. Got both hooks on that. If I was out here catching pet fish for my YouTube channel, we'd be in business. Look at that guy. Can't hold him any closer. But Kentucky Lake's got a ton of these guys right now. Okay. Need your mama. Oh, there she is. There's a whole school of these things right there. Another smallmouth. Next cast, baby smallmouth. Oh boy. Oh boy, stay still. Stay still. I'm gonna try to grab you. Oh, we doubled up. We're on the baby small now. All right, gonna get some pliers real quick. Yeah. Don't wanna go to ER with you, Darius. I like you, but. All right. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this in front of me. There's a tree and there's these little globs on it. These are actually mayflies, and there's a bunch of fish coming up and busting right under this thing. And they're feeding on the ones that are falling in the water. I wish I had like a frog. Sometimes you can throw a frog or something that doesn't get hang up, bust that tree, and those mayflies fall. The fish get real active, and I'll make a amazing cast, drop it right in there. And he got it. Oh, yeah, called my shot. Called my shot. Oh, I could not do that very often. <laughs> not a giant. That was that was awesome. That ain't gonna happen very often. There, just had a bite. I'm gonna spot lock her real quick. Go get some pliers. This splashback is just man, it's catching them today. He'll grow up to be a keeper, though. He'll grow up. All right, guy. Can't believe I just called my shot like that. That does not happen. And they were doing all the measurements and stuff. Didn't realize it was full, so. But I think it'd be a pretty cool video for people to watch. And it's more than just, you go put bass in your pond and you get big fish. You know? That was a good one. Oh, man, dink fest again. I think that's a brown. Yep, a little baby smallmouth. Derek said there's another one in there. Look at that. A little bit bigger than the last two. He come up like a big guy. I think he just tried to talk to me. Oh. All right, I'll get you if you'll calm down. If you'll calm down, I'll get you. I'll get you. I know it hurts. If you'll use your mouth. A lot of times you uh oh there's his home all right little brownie guys that's it for today's video 
do me a favor, support those who support the channel. Log on to sixcentsfishing.com. Place the order. Use that code BAITMAN. That's going to save you 10% on your order. Or use it on Waterland Sunglass website. It's going to give you 15% off your order. So, And uh, I'll link other stuff to Tackle Warehouse. I am a Tackle Warehouse affiliate. So anytime you click that link to Tackle Warehouse in my video description or on my Instagram, uh, that's going to help me out, help the channel, everything. Appreciate all you guys' support. Hope you actually enjoyed me fishing. I like to fish.